Prince Daka, sinister Japanese underground agent, has conspired to steal a cache of powerful radium. But Batman and Robin crash into whirlwind action. <laughs> Nice work, you all right? Sure, sure. Some fight, wasn't it? Yeah, grab that gun, go ahead. Come along, fella, you're going with us to the Bat's Cave. Here we are, home sweet home. Make our friend comfortable. Don't you like our little place? We think it's very cozy. What were those? Just some of my bats. Hope they didn't disturb you, but you see, it's nearing their feeding time. Uh, you don't mind being left here alone with them, do you? I'm sure he won't. Wait a minute. Don't leave me here alone. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything I know. Where were you going with that radium? To the house of the open door. That's a fluff joint. Who hired you? A guy named Smith. A medium-sized fellow with a mustache, sandy hair and about 40 years old. The name sounds phony. That description would fit a hundred men. You've got to do better than that, my friend. Oh, yeah. He had a knife scar on his right wrist. Oh, that's better. What's his racket? What do you want radium for? I don't know. You're lying. No, I'm not. I only do what they tell me to. <laughs> don't press that. Ah, what do you know about this? That's what was used to open the safe. You know where it came from? No. Well, make yourself comfortable while we're gone. I've told you everything I know. Don't leave me here alone. Don't be afraid of my little friends. They don't bite. That is, unless I tell them to. It was the hour of doom when the curse of the Tottenham struck, and even now the clock was striking. One. Oh, it's you. You're off the beam. Why don't you look at your face before you start bonging? One o'clock. Rodney Tottenham, after an exhausting day of search, suddenly awoke from a fitful sleep and reached over toward the vase on the table. When suddenly, electrically and without warning, it was shattered. The curse of the Tottenham's! <laughs> <laughs> you frighten as easily as our spineless friend downstairs. And we only had to use a few of our tricks to get him to talk. But you'd given up detective stories and mystery novels. Oh, I have, sir. But uh, things were getting a bit dull here, sir, and I was just sharpening my wits. If I might coin a little joke. <laughs> well, get the car. We have a delivery to make. Yes, sir. Hi, boys. Oh! Ain't them nothing sacred for them drunks? Right in front of the station. Another package from the Batman. This ought to tickle the old man. Come on, you. Well, here 
is, Cap. And this note was pinned on him. Linda Page can identify this man for you as an accomplice in the uranium robbery and the hospital murder. Batman. You know, sometimes I wonder what you two birds would do if you didn't have the Batman to help you out. At least I'm glad you had sense enough to bring him in off the street. Lock him up in my favorite suite. Go on, get out of here and try to find a clue. And wait a minute. If uh, any reporters come nosing around here, don't try to take credit for the catch. I'll do that myself. Due to the stupidity of one of our members, we have temporarily lost our secret weapon. Well, I didn't figure on running into the Batman. The Batman, a bungling amateur. I have made plans to take care of him, but my first objective is to get back our radium gun. It was lost at the Gotham City Foundation. An employee perhaps may have found it. A young lady, Miss Linda Page, who happens to be Warren's niece, is employed there. She would know. Then let's question her. We will arrange a meeting with her to discuss this matter in private. You think you can fool that page, Dame? Why not? Well, she might know her uncle's voice too well. How could she? He's been in stir for five years. Dr. Borden's office. Hello, oh, Linda. This is your Uncle Martin. Oh, Uncle Martin. Where have you been? I was so worried that something had happened to you. But I want you to meet me tonight at the Blue Parrot. No, dear. But please come alone. All right. Just as you say. At the Blue Parrot at 9 tonight. Hello. Hello, Bruce. This is Linda. Uncle Martin just telephoned me. Oh, he did, eh? Well, I knew the old boy would show up sometime. I'm meeting him tonight at the Blue Parrot. Well, that's fine. I'll go with you. Well, all right, then. But I'm very disappointed. I've been resting up all afternoon to get myself in condition for a dance or two. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. But he called on me today to meet her at the Blue Parrot. He wants her to go alone, and I don't like that. Well, that doesn't stop us from going there by ourselves, though, does it? Not a bit. Now, this will do nicely. shown up yet. Did we go over and say hello? No, she made it plain she didn't want us. Beg your pardon. A phone call for you, Miss Page. Uh, Mr. Warren. The phone's in the lock. Thank you. See where she goes. But don't attract her attention. This is Linda. Why did you leave her? I didn't want you to lose sight of her for a moment. See Miss Page come out of that restaurant? Uh, no, sir. And I was watching like an eagle. Just as you told me, sir. Get in, Dick. We've got to work fast. Where are we going, Bruce? We're paying a little visit to the house of the open door. This is the 
place, all right. Give me those papers, Alfred. We'd better take out our radio transceivers just in case. May I go along, sir? You'd be more helpful if you stay here. Oh, but if trouble comes, I'd be a great help. I'm strictly, as you say, on my heels, sir. You mean on your toes, Alfred? Oh, yes, yes, that's it, sir. On my toes. Go ahead. and keep me posted. Okay. Paper, paper, get your paper. Daily record, sir? Looking for a room? No, I'm supposed to meet a guy here just waiting for him. scar on wrist just entered. Good work, Robin. How about a bid? Got anything on the top floor? You'll have to register. That's the law. All right. Room 50, third floor. She won't tell us a thing. She'll talk all right, don't worry. Bring that lamp over here. Paper, mister? Let's get back to the car. We've got to work fast. Alfred, as soon as we change the Batman and Robin, pull down the alley and around to your left. Yes, sir. That light is window on the third floor is the location of the room I saw Skyrus go into. Get the rope, Dick. Alfred, uh, drive down the alley and turn the corner. Quit stalling. Where's that radium gun? I don't know anything about it, I tell you. Oh, she's fainted. Now, get some water. Upstairs. We've got to get her out of here. 
No, not that way. Wouldn't stand a chance. Out the window. Go ahead. I'll follow you. Thank you.